What's going on everybody? It's your boy Shooky from Shook Arts Media and today we are going back to Life is Strange. It's been a while since I've covered this franchise. Of course, I chronicled the saga that was Life is Strange Remastered and the saga is still not over because we haven't had a patch in a while and the game is still in the terrible state that we left it in when I did all my coverage previously. So I'm glad to be back with Life is Strange. I reviewed the comic as well. I wasn't really all that happy with how it ended, if I'm being honest, but I was a fan earlier. Uh, but now we got yet another spinoff. This one's a novel, and it is centering on Steph. Now, Steph is a character that apparently has a fan base. People liked her enough in Before the Storm that they brought her back for True Colors. And I'll be honest, I, I never really saw the big deal. I mean, I... I I like that she's in nerdy and in nerd stuff, but I just never really felt all that attached to her, if I'm being honest. She always seemed like a supporting character in the uh, Before the Storm prequel game, and in this, in, she's a love interest in True Colors, and, you know, I just didn't really feel that connected to either romance in True Colors, if I'm being honest. So, a uh, backstory about Steph, eh, do we really need it? The, it's covering her time in the punk band with Izzy. Uh, now, this is chronicled in like memories that you find in True Colors. And basically, they were dating, and then they were touring, and then they moved to uh, ha uh, Haven Springs, and they were there for a while, and then uh, there was a breakup. And then Steph and Izzy parted ways. Steph stayed in town because Gabe convinced her to try a job or she got a job at the radio station now Steph also had DLC called wavelengths in true colors and honestly it was so boring I didn't even finish it I could not it was just menial tasks and kind of boring stuff but she was friends with Chloe and there were some flashbacks with Chloe and as much as I wanted to be into it I just wasn't that into it. That's just my opinion on Wavelengths. I didn't care for it very much. I, I didn't even finish it. <laughs> this, I, I feel like we got the story, though. We already know the breakup happened. We already read all of that. I'm just wondering what, what is going to be new and interesting in this story. So let's just read this press release here. We're delighted to announce the first official Life is Strange prose novel. Steph's story is coming March 21st, 2023 from Titan Books. Written by Rosie Thor, it delves into Steph's life on the road with her bandmate Izzy. Look for a synopsis and pre-order details soon. So we'll get more plot information later. Rosie Thor began her career as a storyteller by demanding to tell her mother bedtime stories instead of the other way around. That's nice and cute. She lives in Oregon. Okay, so she must have gotten the job by speaking with people uh, from the studio there deck nine games uh is also situated in oregon and she's the author of young adult novels tarnish the stars and fire becomes her never heard of this person so no judgment either way um i do find it interesting that they got a young adult author for this and the reason for that is i don't know what there's a big push for young adult novels right now it's a big market we saw recently with the walking dead they did the clementine comic book series and targeted at young adults as well and we all know how poorly that turned out <laughs> but the strange thing with this is it, clementine and life is strange these are m-rated video games 17 plus r rated they swear a lot there's sexual themes it's really not for kids so i don't really understand why we're taking all these franchises that supposedly according to their marketing are not supposed to be for kids and now we're trying to make them for kids uh, I'm not really all that interested in reading a young adult novel in the Life is Strange universe. But let me know what you guys think. Are you guys fans of Steph? Are you excited to hear this? What do you think it's going to be about? And do you think we might actually learn anything interesting? Do you think maybe somebody will have some superpowers or something? That seems unlikely. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And I hope to see you in the next video. If you like Life is Strange, definitely keep it locked on Shook Earth Media. I will continue to cover it as it comes out. And I will cover the patches if they ever release for <laughs> Life is Strange Remaster. But don't buy the remaster. Don't do it. Don't give them your money. Buy the old ones. <laughs> they work better, I promise. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody.